Hello, in this presentation, we're going to set up a QuickBooks system for QuickBooks Pro 2018. If you have been following along with this project, we've been working with Get Great Guitars, then that would be great. If you have not, that is okay. You can see how we're going to set up a QuickBooks uh, payroll system within this project. So far, we've set up a new company. That company being Get Great Guitars would be the name. We're going to be selling guitars and doing some service as well, both having merchandise and a service company. As we move forward, we are now going to add payroll. Main purpose here is not to go through all the payroll systems that QuickBooks has. QuickBooks has a lot of payroll systems, but to see uh, the manual payroll that we will then set up and then set up some vendors, uh, some actual employees within that manual payroll system to see how it is set up and then talk a little bit about the different types of options and why you may or may not need different types of options within the payroll system. If you have access to the backup file uh, as we go through this and want to start at the exact point where we left off from the last point, then that backup file then can be restored by going to file and open or restore as we have seen in the past. If you don't have a backup file or you haven't been working along with this, that's okay. We can just look at what we need to do for uh, payroll. Again, idea, setting up a manual payroll. So what we have done, we've got QuickBooks up and running. We didn't set up the payroll yet. And uh, now is the time that we can put that payroll in place. You can put payroll in place whether you used a paid system or uh, basically the manual payroll system that we will be setting up at a later time. So when you install the QuickBooks, you may not feel uh, the pressure. It's going to ask you if you want to have a payroll system put in place when you install. And don't feel that that's the only point in time that you'll ever be able to set up the payroll. You can set it up at a later time. You do want to be careful, however, as to when you set up the payroll. It's nice to set them up at the beginning of the year or at least the beginning of the quarter so it lines up to your quarterly and yearly uh, payroll statements. Uh, but once you get up and running, if you, if you then at a later time need to set up the payroll, and uh, we don't have it within the QuickBooks system, that's okay. We can then go set that up. Now, if you look down here in the home page, and I would open the home, to it, it's probably opened to the home page, but if it did not, you can go to the company and then the home page. Also, note that I always have the open windows section open over here. That's in the view tab, open windows. So if you don't have that open, I would then open that. And then we can toggle through and we can see what is open. The only thing open at this time is the home page. We're concentrating down here on the employee section. And note that nothing is set up. And you can tell by the fact that we only have the time enter and uh, the turn on payroll. If you click this icon, you're going to get some options for the, the payroll. And there's going to be different types of paid options for payroll. If you choose basically a, a cheaper payroll plan, it'll, it'll kind of do a lot of the federal withholdings, meaning it'll do Social Security and Medicare and federal income tax withholdings. And if you uh, have more advanced settings, then you can typically have uh, the state will be better and better tracked within uh, the states. The states being more difficult for QuickBooks because, of course, there's more of them. It's not all standardized as Social Security, Medicare and federal income tax typically are. Uh, we're not going to go through those different different payroll setup systems now. We can do some more research on setting those up later. What we want to do now is set up the manual payroll system as if we were going to put the uh, checks in there manually and actually calculate the, the FIT, federal income tax, the Social Security, and the Medicare. Now, I don't recommend actually doing this uh, within, within a business to, to set up the manual system and then have to calculate the payroll unless you have help doing that and and or a, a very little few amount of um, employees. Uh, I, even if you have a couple employees, then it's probably worthwhile to either uh, pay for the payroll system. And even then, uh, if you have over a, you know five employees or so, it might be worth your while to outsource the payroll to something like a paychecks or an ADP or a local payroll service, which basically does it for you, and then and then we can just enter the payroll journal entry. What we want to get from this, however, is what's going on with payroll in terms of what's what's the process that we have to use to set up, and then what do we need to get from uh, payroll in terms of the employee information, 
have the setup so that we can add the employees to see what the employee information looks like and then see the calculations within payroll and that'll give us a better idea of how we want to set up payroll and what we want to uh, do with do with payroll do we want to pay what pay for it do we want to outsource it do we want to try to do it uh, manually just so you can see some of the paid options if you click on that item it'll it'll take you to some of the paid op options here so it's 14 a month 22 a month 79 a month easy paychecks just enter hours automate uh, tax calculations pay by check uh, or free direct deposit then we have the more advanced features here the electronically file the w2 which is nice for the advanced feature some some that are in the higher pay bracket include payroll tax forms uh, that's the uh, 940s and the 941s i believe and then we have the 79 a month which is uh we file and pay taxes for you no tax penalties and whatnot so you can you can take a look at those uh, note that payroll is is somewhat complex so you want to compare these prices uh, if you have a substantial amount of employees to uh, what could be paid for in an outsourcing service such as ADP or paychecks or some other local service such as that payroll is becoming very specialized of a, of a thing and uh, a lot of companies are specializing in it so in any case we're going to close this up and we're going to go to the help menu we're going to manually set this up and we're going to go to the help and we're going to go to the quickbooks help search. that will be the first option quickbooks uh, desktop help so we're going to click that we're going to get the get the help icon here we're going to type in here we're going to type in manual payroll and enter and see what pops up here we got processing payroll manually that's what we're looking for without a subscription to QuickBooks desktop payroll. So we're trying not to pay for anything. We just want to set up our employees and we want to see everything manually set up. So we're going to say manual system. Uh, once we then have that, we're going to go to manual payroll calculations, this item here. So we want to click on that hyperlink there. And then uh, once we have that, we're looking to if you are sure you want to manually calculate the payroll icons click here and that's what we want so we want to set up company file to use manual calculations so we're going to set that up once we do that uh, this bottom portion the employees portion should then change show us some more items those items including uh, a pay employees icon and a pay liabilities icon uh, so let's hope that happens as we click on the set my company file up and we're going to say OK. And there we have it. So I'm going to close this window and we now have the uh, enter time, but we also have the pay employees and then we have the pay liabilities. So these are the two items that we're going to need in order to uh, perform the payroll. So now we can enter the employees and we can go through the payroll process. And QuickBooks will still give us the, the system to pay employees, which is basically just going to say, here's your hourly rate times the uh, times the number of hours. But, let's, but then we're going to have to, of course, add to it and manually calculate the withholdings, which is the difficult part of payroll. Not too bad for the federal withholdings because we have, you know, Social Security and Medicare are pretty straightforward. And then we've got federal income tax it can be a little bit more confusing. But as we get into states, and if we have multiple state issues in particular, then it becomes an issue that uh, we want to probably have some type of paid service at some point fairly quickly within a fairly limited amount of employees.